What is up, everybody? Welcome to Jamestown. I'm James, and today we're not in the studio because we're coming to you from Las Vegas, attending Ryan Pineda's Real Estate Tech Summit. But as promised, I'm here to bring you part two of that live call with the motivated seller that I released earlier in the week. Now on this part of the live call, I'm actually gonna go through explaining subject to creative finance to the seller in detail, taking them through the paperwork, and actually locking up the deal. So make sure you stick around to the end of the video so you can see how I locked up my first creative finance subject to wholesale deal. Let's get into it. Hello. Good morning, Ryan, it's James. Hey, how you doing? I'm good, man, how's it going? It's going, it's going. Great, so um, yeah, I mean, did you have other questions in regards to my email and kind of what the plan was here? Um, I'm just trying to find find all my stuff to get it together. Okay. Uh, but no, I, I do get the email and like I, I get it to, just pretty much in the sense of uh, me signing the, the loan over to you. And, uh, that's just it, you know. Yeah, I mean, you, you you don't even have to sign the loan over. We're just going to start taking over the payments on it, basically. Okay. So it's I even, it's like even simpler. Um, oh, okay. So let me just ask you, how, how many payments behind are you? So I know how much we're going to have to pay to catch up the mortgage. Uh, I'd have to, I mean, that's the thing. I got I to gotta call the bank today. Okay. Uh, to figure out everything. Get back to you on that. Okay. Um, how many, I, I, I can't say exactly how many payments because uh, what do you call it? I had my thing on auto pay for a while and it was just, uh, what do you call it? Just my mortgage went up from the taxes and everything. Kind of couldn't say how much I'm behind exactly. Um, it is quite a bit. Let's see if I can find something. Yeah, I mean, if you got a ballpark just so we can start putting together the paperwork on our end. Yeah. I kind of want to say, I think it's around 10. Okay. I'm not mistaken. 10, 10. I can try to get you an exact number because I, like, I got to call the bank and uh, I also got to talk to them. Uh, you know, make sure what I'm doing is okay so nothing. I, I've never done this before. I just don't want something to come bite me in, uh, in the ass, you know? Yeah, no, I hear you. Do you have a real estate attorney? I do not. Okay. Um, yeah. Let me see here. Yeah, I said, man, because basically when we do subject twos, the bank has what's called a due on sale clause. So if they know that something like this happens, then they have the option to enact the due on sale clause, which means the whole they can call the whole loan due, which if they do that, then we'll just, we'll just pay it. But that's not ideal, which is why what we generally do is, is we don't even, you don't even inform your lender that you're having somebody else take over the loan. And as long as the loan's getting paid, they don't ever care or notice. I understand that, okay. So we use, use a third party company, a title company to do loan servicing and we give them money and then they pay the, the lender. So the lender doesn't know really who the money's coming from and they don't really ask questions about it. They're just getting paid on time every month. And that's only gonna go on for about six months until we're able, maybe even less than that, until we're able to flip the house. Okay. So this is going to be a very uh, temporary thing. Okay. Um, all right. So then, like, uh, you know, like I, my only concern is I do have to kind of show the bank that I am looking to sell the house. So will it matter if I tell them? Or? Well, they're not going to care once because we're going to pay to catch up the mortgage. Okay. So everything is going to just be hunky dory on their end. Okay. So yeah, your mortgage will become current and then they'll start getting payments every month on time for the full amount. And then when we flip the house and we'll use the proceeds to pay off the whole mortgage in full and then you'll be completely done with it. Okay, so then what, what will I have to do exactly? Um, not necessarily on my end, besides just try to get you like what kind of information you need from me. Yeah, so what, what we'll need from you is I would ask your lender, just be like, you know, I, I'm thinking about selling the house, so I need, you know, my full mortgage, um, all your mortgage information. So how much it's going to cost to pay off your mortgage completely, how much you have remaining on your principal balance, um, and how much you owe in, in, you know, arrears, in back payments. So you'll need the exact amount of back payments, how much is left on your mortgage balance, 
and that's pretty much it. Okay. And then we'll. Um, and then. Sorry, go ahead. When it comes back to. Yeah, yeah, so after I get all that from you, what, what would be like the next step? Yeah, so then we'll write up we'll, we'll write up the agreement, and then when we do the sale of the house, you'll sign over the deed to us. We will pay all the money to catch up the mortgage and start using the loan servicing company to start making the payments, and then you'll be done with the property, and we'll have taken over the mortgage payments and caught up the mortgage, and then that's it. That's all you got to do. And then if your mortgage, if your total mortgage principal isn't that like too high and we're able to kind of squeeze out a couple thousand dollars for you to walk away with as well, then we'll definitely do that too. Yeah. I mean, that's fine. Like I said, I'm not looking. Yeah, I know you're not, but I'm sure a couple thousand dollars wouldn't hurt. No, no, I mean, yeah, it would definitely help, uh, you know, for, for, where I'll end up going there or anything right. like that. Right. So we'll try to take care of you if we can there. Okay. Um, and then, um, so yeah, like I said, right, right now I'm, I've am i been packing my stuff, uh, trying to clean up the, uh, the house and stuff. Um, but so uh, I'm just trying to think, uh, I, yeah, I just got to sit with my wife and try to get things rolling here at the house and trying to get stuff moved out. Okay. That way when you come in. Would you probably want, I mean, would we probably be cool to set the close date for this transaction for like 40 days out? Do you think that's enough time for everything? Um, I have to get back. Can I, is there a, can I use that email you sent me? Can I email you back on that? Yeah, I mean, I'm just trying to get like some ballparks so that we can write everything up and kind of get it locked in so that I can start yeah. kind of making moves on my end. But we can always amend the agreement later. So if you know you need to push it back another month, even we could do I, that. I I, I want to say like I could probably safely say we we should be out of here, get all our stuff together and moved out no later than like the very end of February. We should probably be out, you know, hopefully the beginning of February. Okay, so then why don't I just forty days? That that I think that that would possibly work. Okay, I'll, I'll set the close date to the last day of February, and if, you know, you're out sooner and we're able to move it up, great. If not, we can always push it back. It's not set in stone. It's just something so we can kind of get everything locked in. I get you. Okay. Okay, so right. yeah, end of February. Okay, so that works. Okay, end of February. And then what was your ballpark estimate for how much totals left on your mortgage? Uh, I want to say, if I looked right, it was maybe like 2 to 205 somewhere. Two to two oh five, okay. So, and then once I um I'll try like, like I guess I gotta call the bank soon and then um I'll try to get some uh you said to get the what I owe and the principal. Yeah, the principal balance and then how much back payments you owe. Okay. And you estimate that to be around ten thousand, correct? Yeah. I'm not, I'm not positive though, uh, but yeah, uh, I'll, I'll let you know. Okay. Are you behind on your property taxes at all? Do you know? Uh, my property taxes on my mortgage. Okay. That's what's, that's what's really hurting me. Right. So. So that's, that's part of that. Yeah. Okay. So we'll, we'll have to take care of all that too as well then. So I'm just trying to get a sense of how much everything's going to be. Okay. Yeah. Um, I mean, I don't know if it'll help. I mean, like, I didn't, I wasn't expecting to get things rolling like this this quick with somebody, but um, I, I'm just, just waiting. And it's said to get my tax return to kind of help me get back to pay back what I owe. I don't know if that will help. Well, no. I mean, ideally, we're gonna you know take care of everything, so you can just keep your tax return. Okay, okay. So, you know, we're, we're trying to help you out of this situation. So at the very least, you can just walk away clean. Like, we'll pay all the closing costs on this transaction, take care of the taxes, take care of your back mortgage payments so that you can just walk away clean. All right. That, that, sounds, that sounds great to me. So, okay. Um, yeah, I'll try to email you back today. Like I said, I, I can just respond to the email you sent me to, right? That's... Yeah, I'm going to send you over, I, the numbers won't be perfectly accurate, but I'm going to basically send you over the, um, the agreement we're going to use with 
basically these estimated figures in it so that you and your wife have that and you could even sign that online and just so that we're locked in and we can always change things once you get numbers back and whatnot. All right, sounds like a plan though. All right, so I'll send that here to you this afternoon, okay? Okay, thank you much. All right, man, you call me if you need anything, if you have any trouble with your lender and you can email me at that email, all right? Is this a good number to call you back at? Yeah, why don't I give you my direct cell phone number if, if you wanna write that down? Yeah. All right. What is it? I guess. All right. It's yeah. I mean, this number works, but it goes to my computer, so that'll be my cell phone number. If you like are on the phone with the lender and have an emergency question for me or something. Okay. Sounds good. All right. Anything else I can ha answer for you? Yeah, Ryan. It's James. Okay. 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 No, no. Uh, right now, I think we're good. Um, if I have questions, uh, I'll definitely write them down for you once I get some more. All right, sounds good, man. I'll touch base with you later this weekend or something and make sure everything's going all right, okay? All right, cool. Thank you. All right, you're welcome, man. Have a good one. All right, guys, so that's it. You got to see me build even more rapport with the seller, explain subject to creative finance, get him to understand the contract, and lock the deal down. So if you guys want me to keep you updated with what happens on this deal, then leave it down in the comments and I'll be sure to let you know any hiccups I run into and when it closes. And make sure you guys subscribe and smash that notification bell because I'm gonna have some big news coming soon that you're not gonna wanna miss. You're in Jamestown now, so relax, take some notes, and let's make some fucking money.